your girl, Dr. Nina. And you know what? When your girl lost over 100 pounds over 16 years ago, I went ham with my fitness habits. Sometimes team too much. But look, I was trying to change because my eating was garbage. I had very little physical activity and my self-care habits were what? You guessed it, garbage. Before I really lost the weight, I tried diet after diet and I kept losing at the game before I ever won. Click like if you can relate. It took changing my daily habits and using common sense in order to change my overall lifestyle. So today I'm gonna to share my top nine cheap habits I use daily to lose weight. Some of these you may have never thought of. And all items that I mentioned will be found down below in the description box along with some resources. And also make sure that you check with your doctor before you change any of your fitness program and eating habits. And make sure you join me over on my free text community. Yes, it's gonna let you know when I go live on Amazon, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. And also when I'm doing those awesome master classes. And also join me on drninaellisherpy.com and get in on that free eight day supernatural video program to get your life together. And look, I never asked y'all for nothing, but I am right now. Go ahead and click that like button. It gets me in your algorithm and it lets others know that my content is something you enjoy. Now let's get into this video. Y'all, I had to make sure I was actually chewing my food. Sounds crazy, right? <laughs> no, not to me. I still eat pretty fast, but back in the day, y'all, you would assume I inhaled my food, like gone. I don't remember chewing my food well, and in fact, I would choke eating that fast, choking. Some research has even found that chewing your food more thoroughly and slowing down helps to reduce the intake of the food. So when I actually started chewing, I was shook. I could actually taste and savor my food. And taking the proper time to chew allows the body to know when it's getting full. So this cut down on overeating. Even now, I have to make sure that I chew until my food is a certain consistency. So don't sleep on chewing, y'all. Actually chew your food before it goes down. Y'all, when portion control containers or meal prep containers got hot, I really got into them. Not just because they cute or whatever, but because when I served my food on a larger plate with it full, I literally ate everything in sight. And look, I think it stems from childhood and being told by some people that you have to finish everything on your plate. Studies have shown that with portion control plates, you're less likely to overeat. Those plates have visual size indicators for various essential food groups. This helps to adjust all the portions without all the guesswork. So you see the places for your vegetables, your proteins, and even your starches. I get mine from Amazon for cheap, and I've linked some down below for you. So check them out. I had to really learn to step my cooking game up. When I got better skills in the kitchen, it was a very powerful way to lessen my weight without having to lower my food intake so much. This was because I learned how to not only eat, but prepare a wide variety of foods. This started to really help me increase my nutritious fruits and vegetables, which are amazing for helping to lose weight. I'm telling y'all, I learned so many ways to cook. The internet and really cheap or free cookbooks were clutch. Do you need some quick meals? I love this channel on YouTube as well as a show called Struggle Meals. The host is hilarious and he literally uses a lot of struggle items in order to make his meals work. Like this dude even pulls out like packets of sugar that he got from, you know, a place like Starbucks or something like that. He just uses anything to help to prepare meals that you might not have ever thought of. And y'all know I love me some HelloFresh because preparing their meals gives me so much simplicity, but also gives me so much motivation for preparing meals and also learning how to use different items in order to create create great dishes. And HelloFresh is sponsoring today's video. And this fall, I got to choose from an ever-growing new rotation of weekly recipes. They have hearty soups, chilies, and in-season fall produce. This is to take advantage of the season's fall flavors. The food overall is very good, easy to make, it saves me time, and it's sustainable. And you can save over 30% by using HelloFresh versus grocery shopping. And they offer so many recipes to choose from each week to break me out of my recipe rut. The meals are super no fuss and easy. And when I'm just not feeling like doing the most, this means less meal prep, less cleanup, all of that thinking, it's just easy. And that leads to less wasted food. They have options like low calorie, carb smart, vegetarian and even pescatarian meals weekly. And I can save time with meals ranging between 20 to 30 minutes with their quick and easy options. And I can change my delivery days, 
preferences and skip a week when I need to. Go to HelloFresh.com and use my code DrNina14 to get 14 free meals plus free shipping. Again, go to HelloFresh.com and use my code DrNina14 for 14 free meals plus free shipping. While we're talking about food, I had to get them snacks on point and get them right. According to research, over one third of people got much of their daily energy intake from their snacks. Their snacks. I don't know about y'all, but as my snacks got bigger, so did I. Healthy homemade snacks can help us by increasing our fullness, which means that we eat less when we go to eat a meal. And I've told y'all some of my filling favorites like apples and bananas, carrots and broccoli, low sodium nuts like cashews, almonds, and walnuts, popcorn, yogurt. I also love my protein donuts and even my smoothies. So there's options out there for us to help to reduce our caloric intake when we take on meals. And we can eat less, but we have to use snacking properly. I also found a lot of differences when I started to take probiotics seriously. Research shows that they can help to influence our weight, fat mass, and even our mood. They can even help to decrease obesity by increasing our gut health positively and also increasing that good bacteria. Their benefits include energy for the gut wall and liver cells, specific fatty acids, and also help with regulating body weight. While I personally like to buy my probiotics and have them in like a chewable gummy or in a capsule, they can also come in certain foods. These include yogurt, kimchi, sauerkraut, tempa, and even kombucha. I had to also learn how to treat myself sometimes. And I'm talking about really go all out for myself. Deprivation and villainization of bad foods actually leads to binging, at least it did for me. And that's why diets would never work for me. I eat a little cake here and there and I even save a little cream for my coffee. I learned that I really was afraid of food and because I didn't trust myself, I didn't trust portions either. Once I learned that I could like some things and eat some things that I actually liked, but I had to stabilize my portion, I also stabilize my weight along the way. If I can't keep it up forever, I just choose not to do it. And that's real. It's definitely not worth me being hangry and irritable. Never. I also started to flush my body of toxins with smoothies and by other means. I love my smoothies because they offer me a lot of nutrition that I wouldn't otherwise get during the day. Early in my journey, I also learned that they kept me regular, if you know what I mean. My smoothies have a lot of fiber. There's lots of green vegetables and fruits. Fiber helps with increasing fullness, slowing down the digestive process. It helps nutrient absorption and it prevents constipation. I learned that I was way less bloated and full of you know what which led to a much better attitude. So make sure you start slow with your smoothies. I have a whole lot of videos on smoothies and detoxing, but I had to start with like frozen berries, frozen spinach, maybe a little bit of peanut butter, some almond milk. And then I learned to build from there with protein powders and other things that I liked. And this really did help me overall. I also had to get myself water bottles I actually liked. Y'all see me with all kinds of cute bottles over here to drink from. Honestly, it makes drinking the water more attractive. Let's just be real. It makes it very hard to forget, easy for me to stay competitive, and also for me to hydrate without question. I love my bottles with motivational sayings, the surgical steel bottles, and also those cute little decorative mason jars. I'm not sure why, but it just makes drinking water easier to do. Even when I'm at the gym, I have a bunch of them in my Amazon that I love that are cheap, that have the motivational sayings on them, that are competitive in nature, and just cute all around. And they also just serve the purpose of keeping me motivated to reach my water goals daily. And it's gonna flush your body and help you lose some weight. Now here are some small things to remember, but they still add up to big changes. Get at least six hours of sleep a day. It really does help your body to recuperate and rejuvenate so that you're able to flush toxins properly and not bloat. And other things, get your blood checked. I say this because when I noticed that my vitamin D levels went down and you can find that out from a blood test, I was also starting to gain weight, mainly because my body didn't feel balanced. And low vitamin D actually led me to lower levels of energy. So I wasn't able to sustain my workouts or be as active as I was. 
Also reduce the stress and the dust in your life. Do exercises you like. Practice some meditation. Spend time outside and practice some non-essential activities. Also eat more protein. Protein can help us feel fuller longer and help us to feel more satisfied with the meals that we have. So y'all, I hope today's video has been beneficial and that you learned a bit about things that you can do and incorporating your life without dieting. Just coming up with some small strategies that help you to make big changes over time. Now make sure that you comment, share this video with someone who can use it and subscribe. Thanks so much for watching y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll. Peace. Check the links in the description for my free new Dr. Nina's Mentorship Facebook group, which is a group of like-minded individuals looking to progress, grow, and support one another along the way. The Now That's Life podcast is about to go into season two, so I suggest you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast on all your major podcasting platforms. All descriptions and links for that and my free Supernatural video course are found below. Thanks so much for all the love and support over on my new website. If you haven't already, go ahead and check it out and join me for new ways to interact with me, giveaways and prizes, weekly emails, as well as my free eight day supernatural video course, which is free when you sign up.